that being able to say that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's a good big thing, right? Nope. Like, not like, load or anything like that. Um, I mean, like, I went back to kind of just like. Hi. Um, something like What's going on guys? We are back at Pure Muscle for a delt workout and today I'm joined by a good friend of mine, Tyler Johnson. And if you guys don't know, Tyler is 10 weeks, just inside 10 weeks out from the Olympia. So it's going to be a good session today. I'm like fresh off the Canadian Nationals. We got a turkey dinner in me. <laughs> Um, so I'm feeling good. I don't know, Tyler, how are you feeling, man? Uh, I feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's on a low day right now. So. I'm on a low day. Yeah, I feel good otherwise. I do. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get after it today. Tyler's going to show me a few Sorry. of his secret delt movements that he's used over the years to grow his delts. I think it's one of his kind of signature body parts, and uh, I'm, I'm excited. I want to grow some friggin' huge delts this off season. So we're going to get into it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to put Tyler's uh, info in the description if you guys aren't familiar and follow along with his journey because he is, like I said, nine, just inside 10 weeks out from the Olympia. So we're going to get after it. All right, guys, first exercise today we're doing a seated uh, shoulder press, uh, plate loaded Atlantis. And we're going to start with just uh, a plate, warm it up, and then uh, and we'll get into some working sets. Interrupted. By the bikini yeah. champion. Almost bikini pro. You walked into winning that show. Bro, it's gotta start now. Yeah. If you're not walking now, you're not winning, hundred percent. The problem is a lot of people don't think about it until like a week out, two weeks out, once they start looking at their body and they're like, oh, I could maybe win. Yeah, you walked in now though. Thing is if you're locked in now, you can do everything from here on out so like, the way you need to do it with Like these reps matter. Every rep that we've done matters. Every rep that we're going to do matters. So like, make sure every single rep, every single set, exercise, workout, from here on out, you're locked in. You have to stay in that vision. You have to connect every single rep to that vision. It matters. Yeah. 
All right, guys, top set. Then we're gonna go for eight to 10 here, and then maybe a few partials at the end, so. Right now, we're not looking at anything. We're locking that vision. Let's go. up that first exercise it was a uh, seated shoulder press went through uh, two top working sets plus a killer drop set and uh, yeah hopefully you guys picked up a few tips from that exercise that was a good one now we're moving into our second exercise to be uh, standing dumbbell lateral raise Tyler's gonna take us through his Kind of style of doing this. I know he's got a unique uh, way he sets up his sets with like drop sets and building up acclimation sets. So this is gonna be a good one. So we're gonna get into it right now. Uh, 20s for 20. Every rep, every rep matters. Lock in. You think this is a warm up set, but it's not. It's a working set. Make it a working set. Stay locked into that vision. We want to win this race right now. It's just grabbing. Let's go breathe.
<sighs> Guys, I've done this with Tyler before, once before. It's, you, you gotta have endurance, because it's a marathon, so. We're getting into our second set, and I know there's like a million sets left to go. Just letting you guys know. Working good, 25. Good work good. Conditioning is big, man. That's how we do it. You gotta condition the muscle, let's go. Condition the mind, condition the muscle. You're either in or out of it. Let's go. Starts today. Work right. Gotta earn it, man. Someone's working hard on it. Let's go. Gotta go lead the pack or chase the pack. Let's go. I don't even know how many sets we've done. Shoulders feel like they're gonna explode. They're like popping. But all the yeah. <laughs> that ice cream cake last night. <laughs> pumpkin tea. Man. Yeah. Oh, Halloween. Pumpkin. Got the can and everything. Yeah. Let's go, Brandon. Let's work. Walk in. Come on. Let's go. One, eight, nine, shoulders. Don't know, double lateral is probably my weakest exercise, but I'm happy I'm training this guy because it's gonna push me to get better at dumbbell laterals. I'm gonna go from 47.5 down to 35, down to 25, okay? Okay. And I'm just gonna go straight. Okay. okay. And then once you finish, then I'll go. Yeah. Okay. No, man, let's go. Let's go. Nine and a half weeks. <laughs> Five more. Five 
barely feel my shoulders right now. Uh, we finished off that lateral marathon set of death and it was fucking great. So um, yeah, we're gonna get into our third exercise and it's gonna be a rear delt fly on the, on the reverse back deck. So what are we trying to focus on here for this one here? For me, for the, the cues I use personally, I'm gonna like rotate my elbows upwards so I can yeah. keep that straight plane of motion just on the rear delt only. I'm just gonna make sure to roll up just drive your elbows back. Right here, yeah. Come right, make, sure, up. make sure you see, we, you make, see the rear delts are just like fired up. Make sure you're resisting gravity on the way down. Yeah. I'll probably get it in the mirror. It's easier for me to see. It's hard. So resisting on the way on the eccentric and then just letting that weight sit right here on his rear delts. Really focus on dragging that weight back. Or sorry, dragging it out, like outwards. same kind of um, mental cues as Tyler. For me, especially, I'm trying to separate the handles, reaching outwards, not pulling back. Because anytime you're pulling back, you're gonna engage your rhomboids, you're gonna engage your traps. You wanna push your, your shoulders down and then reaching reaching out with, uh, with your elbows and your hands. Five more. 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 Five more.
Yeah. Work there. No fucking around. No game. Let's go. Three more. Two more. <laughs> <laughs> I could I couldn't even move it. <laughs> it's a good set. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright guys, so we're getting into our fourth exercise for this workout. We're doing a standing front raise with um, an easy bar with a cable or a cable and easy bar. And uh, you basically pull it through your legs straight out in front. Um, and then we're gonna superset this with a roller base pull, just like that. Finish off with the rears, and then we might do one more at the end. We'll see. exercises for the front raise you want to make sure there's constant tension on the front delt so Tyler's really good at controlling the eccentric and then going nice and slow even on the concentric motion so that's the, the on the way up so you can see that constant tension the whole way and yeah it's gonna burn after 10 reps you're gonna feel like stopping and he's gonna do probably 20 to 25 reps here
All right, guys, so we're moving on to our fifth exercise, our last exercise for this workout. It's gonna be standing machine lateral raises, and we're gonna superset it possibly with um, the, I think it's called an Evo Fit machine over there. It's kind of like a chest press fly. Just get a little bit of uh, chest volume in on this delt date, and then we're gonna probably call it and might do some posing at the end. I thought, are you gonna get in there? Oh, you want me to? Oh, no, okay. no, not you. Yeah, hit this. Okay. Oh, neither of them are. Neither of them are listening. Here. Okay, front double. Yeah, very front double. Side chest. I don't know. Like, count the lines in his ass. Man. Nice. That was good. <laughs> yeah, do your favorite classic. Cheerio. A cheerio. Do it, because it's both the same. Braden with the vacuum, because Tyler, that's what Tyler said. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we were, Tyler, we were laughing. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this shoulder workout. It was, it was a grinder. Uh, Tyler being nine and a half weeks out from Olympia, and again, me coming off nationals and Thanksgiving dinner. I'm feeling pretty good, but he still still ran me through the paces, and uh, yeah, it was a solid workout. Definitely gonna get some more workouts in uh, before he gets into like super death mode. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. There's a lot more content coming, so you're gonna wanna subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. 
And uh, without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next one.